cancel culture. What is it and how does it affect you? Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. Oh my gosh. Drinking a little Headbangers Brew this morning. Have I mentioned that it's my favorite coffee? Just saying. And it's our very own, used to feed the homeless, uh, proceeds go to that, as do all of our swag. This is our mug of the month, Theology, the Study of God. Very cool, it's also a t-shirt, and uh, you need to get some of this stuff. It is available along with all the rest of our swag, the best swag on earth, by the way, right here. We are metal, we are family.com. Well, here's the question for today. Dear Pastor Bob, what do you think of our cancel culture these days? Calling everyone racist. Don't you think it's getting out of hand? And yes, I do. So let's define cancel culture for just a minute. It's a word that we hear kind of thrown around these days. Cancel culture is a way of using social pressure to engage in mass canceling. If you don't agree with me, I want to shut you up. And it's the opposite of freedom of speech. And we see this happening all around us today. And folks, it's never balanced. It's always one person trying to get their way at the expense of another. It's nothing new. Racist is an interesting word. And yeah, I think people are very racist today. Not necessarily the ones who are calling people racist. Well, are the ones that they're talking about. You know, when I was growing up, and I'm 70, so this is a long time ago, I remember segregation. I remember it was it was white versus black when I was a kid. And, and, you know, there were a lot of white people who did mistreat some black people, not all of them. Um, I was raised to be fairly colorblind. And, and, you know, these days, and I'm being honest with you, when somebody asks me, how many black friends do you have? I have to really think about that because I, I really don't pay attention. And a lot of you don't either. But these days we're kind of forced to think about it a little bit. So it was white versus black before, and now it's black versus white these days. It seems like the the same rhetoric that was used by white people when I was growing up is used by black people and a lot of their hatred towards white people. Now, I'm generalizing, and it's probably still a very big minority, but it's what gets publicized, and it's what we hear about, and it's kind of sad because it's just the reverse of what it used to be, and both of them are extremely wrong. And then we hear a lot of these terms that are thrown around today. Conspiracy theory. You know, that's another thing that's used to shut people up. You call them racist or you call them a conspiracy theorist. And, and the word conspiracy theory originated during the John F. Kennedy assassination. Um, the, the real story is just now coming out and uh, we didn't ever really believe in the magic bullet story. And the CIA wanted to keep everything quiet and keep everyone quiet from asking questions. So they came up with this term conspiracy theory to keep people from asking questions about it. And it works, still works with a lot of people. And this is the the thing that's thrown around these days. And, and you know, it, it as I watch things happening on social media and other places, I realize that conspiracy theory these days means we're trying not to talk about it, but it's true and you'll find out in about three or four months. 
<laughs> goes from theory to fact. Yeah. But it's still used to throw people off. If you haven't watched Jamie uh, McCavanaugh's cap, um, uh, podcast on our network, you need to. He did a really excellent job with conspiracy theories this time. And uh, you need to follow it. And then the other thing is, you know, when you look at what's going on and when you look at a lot of the, the social problems that people are going through these days and in, in racism and in our economy and, and all the lies that are being told, you know, you have to follow the money. It's a big deal. With government, you have to follow the money. With Big Pharma, with the whole medical thing that's going on these days, you have to follow the money. Who's making the money? Who are the drug manufacturers? The tech companies? Who's getting rich? Follow the money. And you have to really search to follow it. Uh, the mainstream media, uh, people disguised as journalists, total propaganda, mostly, very much cancel culture people, a total agenda, not trustworthy. It's not news anymore, it's propaganda. So is all of this a surprise? Not at all. The Bible talked about it. It's happened before. It'll happen again. Human nature on its own is not good. And these things happened as a result of the removal of morality, especially biblical morality, and a foundation built on Jesus Christ. Turn with me to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. And this is interesting because it describes the days we're living in, and it's described other days since the writing of this text as well. But look at this. But understand this, that in the last days, dangerous times of great stress and trouble, that could be today, right? These days will come. Difficult days that will be hard to bear. For people will be lovers of self, narcissistic. You know, I get so much mail from people saying, I'm married to a narcissist. What do I do? My friend's a narcissist. I'm being bugged by people at work that are narcissistic. The word comes up all the time because people go there and there's no checks and balances to keep them from yeah, taking over. So people will be lovers of self, narcissistic, self-focused, self-focused. I want my way and I want you to be quiet. And I want you to think the way that I do. And if you don't, cancel culture. Lovers of money. Yeah. Impelled by greed. And man, do we see that, like I said, in big pharma, in government. We see it in the, the huge tech companies. Everything from Google to Facebook to, you know, used to be Twitter. And I'm hoping for some good things there. But, you know, we see it everywhere. And you think, where do you go? Who do you trust? Boastful. Arrogant. Disobedient to parents, big one. Ungrateful, unholy, profane. And they will be unloving, devoid of natural human affection, natural human affection. What does that mean? You begin to look for other ways of expressing yourself. <clears throat> it's not just man and woman anymore. It's a variety of different options. Calloused, inhumane, irreconcilable, malicious gossips. 
devoid of self-control, intemperate, immoral, brutal, haters of the good, traitors, reckless, conceited, lovers of sensual pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding to a form of outward godliness like a religion, although they have denied its power, for their conduct nullifies their claim of faith. What you see isn't what you get. And here's what it says about this list of people. Avoid such people and keep far away from them. Wow. But we don't just avoid, we get involved. And how do you get involved militantly? No, you get involved biblically. Folks, perfect love, agape love, God's love, casts out all fear, casts out all doubts, casts out all immorality. When we use the scripture as the foundation for our lives and build on it, our lives changed. When we remove it from the picture, this is what we get. So this is where we're going in 2023. I'm excited the first day of the year to bring a live broadcast to you with leaders in the Christian metal community from around the world. We're gonna have a great time with it. I'm excited about where we're going because I'm excited to get back on track. And that means that when we cross over we take the cross over, the cross of Jesus Christ. And instead of talking politics and hatred and cancel culture, we talk about life in Christ built on his word, built on theology, the study of God, knowing who he is and building our lives accordingly very important. So in these days of cancel culture, in these days of conspiracy theory and racism and name it, there is still hope. For my hope is, is foundational. Nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness, as the old hymn says. My hope is built on nothing less. Awesome. Folks, don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.